Hey, good afternoon, guys. I think it's the afternoon, yeah. Well, um, I want to do a little update on the Redneck Roller Coaster project I got going on. So, here goes. I got to show you a few things about it. Let me just set this down. Oh, jeez, I hope it does. I don't want it to crack. All right. Ugh, boy. The door gets heavier and heavier. All right. Um. Um. Well, I'll do another update video on this thing, but uh, boy. <laughs> um. So there's the metal. There's some of the metal. I mean, I don't have much right now. See, there's another piece. And you know, some little pieces of scrap. So I'm going to have to go metal hunting. I mean, you know, that stuff, that crap isn't going to cut it. That's too, that's too, I mean, I could break that on my knee or something. Well, not in half, but you know, I can bend it on my knee. It's so damn, you know, I mean, I'm going to need like this crap, you know, like mower blade. You know, I need, I need steel, you know, good, good metal. So, I mean... You know, it hasn't been, hasn't been much done with it, I mean, I, but just trying to collect metal and crap, so there really hasn't been much, but, um, you know, I need to find the big issue, the main, the main thing that I'm going to need for the project is, of course, a mower like this, or, or, you know, some crappy MTD, something like that, I mean, I'm not going to go and tear apart a Bolins and, throw that on the Bolins, you know, I mean, I had a, I had another Craftsman LT10 in my other videos, it was a red tractor, and, uh, I don't know, but I gave it away, so that's gone, I mean, that, that would have been perfect to use, too, except for the fact that the belt kept falling off of it, but, um, I mean, that would have been perfect for this, you know, I mean, if this wasn't my, my mowing mower for the, for the house, I mean, you know, this thing, this thing wouldn't, <laughs> this would be, in a heartbeat, be welding, be welding crap like that onto it. And so, I mean, this is really the perfect, perfect, perfect to use, though. But, uh, unfortunately, I don't have one like that. So I'm just going to have to wait till I go garbage picking come summertime. I mean, you really can't work out here anyways. It's, you know, it's, it's too damn cold. I'm ready to freeze. It's so it's so cold. Like it was warming up the other days, and then it uh it just started to get cold again. So that sucks. But um, I guess you gotta live with it, right? So hopefully we'll get some uh get some uh, warm front in, so you can melt some of this crap down and warm this place up. So I don't have any heat out here, so it's kind of hard, you know. And I want to try and get a better welder. As you can see, I have a little little blue welder in the corner there, buried. It's a, it's an arc welder, so I mean, it's going to take a lot to weld all this crap. You know, I mean, it's, arc welder is a good welder, but it's for more, it's for, you know, I don't know. It, I just, it's hard to weld with an arc welder. So I'm going to try and get a MIG or a TIG. Um, that's another thing I want to ask you guys. What do you think, what type of welder do you think I should buy? I know, I don't think I want to go in with a Lincoln Electric because they're friggin' expensive. So, you know, I want to do something Harbor Freight, but should I buy a gas? It should buy, uh, you know, an ox, not an oxygen, but a, uh, should I buy like a, you know, how it has the shielding gas? Should I buy that? Like that type of welder? What, should I buy a MIG? Should I buy a TIG? I have no idea really much with fucking welders. But, um, yeah, <laughs> so let me know. Alrighty, but that's the, uh, that's the update on the, on that. I mean, nothing really much to it, but, uh, you know, hopefully I, hopefully garbage picking this summer will turn out well and I can, I get one of these pieces of, you know, a craftsman in, you know, and then I can modify it, shove everything up top, you know. I mean, 
Who knows? Well, hopefully I just got to keep crossing my fingers that I find something. Alrighty, guys. Well, uh, take care. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you can help me. Help me on my welder dilemma. Alright, guys. Take care.